أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد as you know we shall be starting today with the last section of surah al-kahf اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم افحسب الذين كفروا ان يتخذوا عبادي من دوني اولياء انا اعتدنا جهنم للكافرين النزلا قل هل ننبئكم بالاخسرين اعمالا الذين ضل سعيهم في الحياه الدنيا وهم يحسبون انهم يحسنون الصنعا صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ربنا الهمنا رشدنا واعذنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه امين يا رب العالمين اس ا كومن برنسيبل ان ذا قران ذات ان ذا فيريس سوراز ذا ايات ويتش ابير ان ذا بيجنينج اند ذا ايات ويت ويتش ذا سورا اندز they are most profound most profound same is the case the surah al kahf also and that is why we find traditions and sayings of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam whosoever will keep reading and reciting the ayat in the beginning of surah al kahf and the ayat with which the surah ends he will be saved from the fitna of the jal so these ayat have a special effect and because you know in the beginning also we found the central ayat was inna ja'alna ma'al al-ardi zinatan laha linabluwahum ayyuhum ahsanu abala and i noted it last night that twice again this word zinat appears wala ta'du ayna ka'anhum turidu zinat al-hayat ad-dunya المال والبنون زينة الحياة الدنيا. So the central idea is that this world is very beautiful, and as man is advancing in technology, the beauty of this world is becoming more and more, it's more and more attractive, more and more awful. So now man is loving this world more and more, and this is the only. test to which we have been put in this world this is this life of this world khalaq al maut wal hayat li yabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala he has created life and death so as to test you who amongst you is the doer of the good deeds and this is the crucial matter whether you love this world or you love allah and the hereafter if we fail in this if we are fully devoted to this world then we fail in the akhira and if we have fixed our priority our priority number 1 is that world and allah subhanahu wa taala this is only a journey we are passing by it as the prophet said kun fi dunya kana ka gharibun wa aabir sabeel you should live in this world as if you are some stranger or a traveler that's all this is not your house this is not your home your home is actually akhira now in the end also you find <coughs> first of all the denunciation of the shirk mostly the shirk in this world has been that people have adopted as gods and goddesses according to their own imagination the daughters or sons of allah the some of the jews said rozair is son of allah 
So we must worship him. And you know Christianity is based on this principle, the, big, the only begotten son of God. And he is the God real. That Asmani God, you know, the God in heaven, the Father, heavenly Father, he is not very important. Really important is Jesus. He is the real God. In the same way, the Mushrikeen of Arab, they had the idea that these angels are daughters of Allah. <coughs> and that is why they had their deities with the feminine names. Manat, Lat, Uzza, these are feminine name names. So, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, أَفَحَزِبَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَيَتَّخِذُوا عِبَادِي مِن دُونِي عَلِيَا and why do these Mushrikeen worship these small gods and goddesses? They think that they will intercede on their behalf on the Day of Judgment. They will be able to save those people who love them from the accountability of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is their wrong idea. Allah says, أَفَحَسِبَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا So then those who have disbelieved they think that they can make my servants, my bondsmen, as their protectors against me. Jesus, I created him, I sent him as a messenger. Now will he protect these people against me? Against my questioning? Malaika, they are my creation. They are my bondsmen. Will they intercede on their behalf against me? For such disbelievers and rejecters of the faith, we have already prepared hell for their entertainment and hospitality. Now the crux of the matter of Surah Al-Kahf. قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّيَوْكُمْ بِلَقْسَرِينَ عَمَالًا Say, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, should we inform you who are the greatest losers regarding their deeds and endeavors in this world? Everybody is working hard from dawn to sunset, rather late night. People are working, 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 running, running to this direction, running to that direction. But what is the goal? What is the aim? Now, if all this running and all this endeavor and all this striving is for this world, it means they are lost. They are gum, according to the saying of Iqbal. Kafir ki ye pehchan ke afaq mein gum hai. They have been lost in this world. Afahasib al-lazina kul hal nunab beokum milak sarina amala. Say to them, shall we inform them, who are the greatest losers? in their striving in this world. And after this question, the answer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving himself. Allazina walla sa'yuhum fil hayati dunya. Those whose endeavor is wasted for this world only. All their time, all their working, all their exertions, day and night for this world. As if they are lost. There's Striving, their endeavors, they are lost. Allazina walla sa'yuhum fil hayat in dunya wa hum yahsabuna annahum yusiluna suna'a. And they think that they are going very good performance. Well, my business is flourishing. But I have put in labor in it, hard work. And the result I am having. My business is flourishing. I am shining in my career, in my profession. So they are contented. That what they are, they are endeavoring, they are getting the results. But the reality is, They are the people who have disbelieved the revelations of their Lord. Allah says that is the real life, not this. This is only a temporary abode. You have to leave it. If not today, tomorrow. If not tomorrow, day after. That's all. Nobody says that he can live in this world forever. He has to leave. So, ulaik al nazina kafaru be ayat rabbi. They may be saying that we believe in Quran, but if all their efforts are focused and lost for this world, 
that actually they don't believe in Quran. Quran says the real life is that, not this one. So you are belying Quran by your action, by your attitude. Ulaik al Nazina kafaru be ayat rabbi wa liqaihi. And they have denied that they will have to meet him, meet their Lord. فَحَبِتَ كَعْمَالُهُمْ For all their good deeds, what should they might have done? They have all gone in vain. فَلَا نُقِيمُ لَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَزْنَا And we are not going to assign any weight to them on the day of resurrection, on the day of judgment. Such people also do some good deeds to, to satisfy their conscience. Well, I am all very busy in this world affair, but I am earning, but I am giving some charity also. I am doing that business also. That, you know, public service work also I'm doing. No, these things. Unless your goal is Akhirah, unless you devote yourself for the most of your personality and your time and your energy and your means for Akhirah, for the pleasure of Allah, you are doomed. Zalika jazahum jahannam. They are the people whose reward is going to be the hell. Deva kafaru. Due to the rejection of the faith, but takhadu ayati wa rusuli hozua, and they took my revelations and my messengers in mockery. What is he saying? That is the real life. Or oh, real life is this? Babar bhaes kosh ke alam dobara ni is. This is the life. Enjoy as much as you can, because there is not going to be another life. Babar bhaes kosh. Try to have as luxuries as you can have. Alam Dubara is this life will not come to you again. So avail the best of it. That is actually, Babar had said so. We are doing according to that. Our whole life pattern is absolutely on that basis. Now the contrast. On the contrary, those people who believe and do good deeds. For them, the gardens, they are, they have been prepared, gardens of paradise, shall be ready for their hospitality. Khalidina fiha, abiding therein forever. They will never like to be transfer, transferred from there to any other place. Please note, the last two ayat of Surah Al-Bani Israel were started with Qul. Qul idu Allah abidu al-Rahman ayyam ma tadu falahu al-asbaa al-husna. Qul alhamdulillah illazhi lam yattakhid walada wa lam yakul lahu shariqun fil mulk wa lam yakul lahu waliyyum min al-zul wa kabbirhu takbira. The grandeur of the person of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his high station, his uniqueness, his unity, Two ayat, the last two ayat of Surah Bani Israel, very, very profound. In this same way, the last two ayat of Surah Al-Kahf. They also start with Qul. There are two Quls in the end of Surah Bani Israel and two Quls in the end of Surah Al-Kahf. We are very well aware and familiar with four Quls. Qul ya yu al-kafirun, Qul huwa Allah ahad, Qul a'udhu bi rabbi al-falak, Qul a'udhu bi rabbi al-nas. But these are four other quls that you must remember. They are remember worthy. Now the grandeur of Allah's creation. Qul lau kaan al bahru midad al kalimati rabbi. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, if the whole sea was to be used as an ink to write the words of Allah subhanahu wa taala, my Lord, the sea will be exhausted before the words of Allah are exhausted. Although any other sea of the like might be brought for its help. Now what does it mean? Every creation of Allah is His word kun. Everything is created by one word kun. So every creation is a word of Allah. Can you count down and write down the, all the creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Even if the oceans are to be used as ink, and there's another ayah in the Quran of this, on the same subject. If all the trees on the earth are to be turned into pens, Karimatullah will not be able to be exhausted and written. So this is to give you an impression of the grandeur 
of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now comes the last ayah, and this is the practical tawheed. One tawheed is theoretical. Allah is alone. Nobody is equal to him. None is a partner with him. There's no associate with him. There's no associate in his attributes, etc., etc. All these things are theoretical. What's practical tawheed is? You worship him and him and him alone. Obey him and him and him alone. You can obey others only where there is no disobedience to Allah. Your obedience, your worship should be 100% focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the practical Tawheed. I have a book on this subject, tawheed e amali in Urdu. And this aspect of Tawheed is absolutely absent. Even those of our people, you know, who think that they are the Mawahideen and they are the Salafiyoon and so on and so forth, they don't care about this Amali Tawheed. Now here is the Amali Tawheed. Last ayah of Surah Bani Sifai, theoretical Tawheed. قُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ أَلَّذِي لَمْ يَتَّخِذْ وَلَدَى وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ شَرِيكٌ فِي الْمُلْبِ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ وَلِيٌّ مِنَ الظُّلْ وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا And here, قُلْ Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِسْلُكُمْ Verily, I am also a mortal human like you. The only difference between you and me is, you ha'a ilayya. Wahi has come to me. Revelations have come to me. And what is the crux of the revelation? Annama ilahukum ilahu wahid. That your Lord is the only one Allah. One Lord, one God. No partner with Him. For man kaala yarju liqa rabbihi so whosoever is hopeful and looking forward to meet his Lord. فَلْيَعْمَلْ صَالِحَا عَمَلًا صَالِحَا Now he has to do two things. He must do good deeds. Number one, وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ And he shouldn't associate in his obedience to Allah. Ibadah means obedience. Abd is slave. In obedience and worship of Allah. He should not associate anything else, anybody else. So this is the end of Surah Al-Kahf. And now we come to Surah Maryam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kaf ha ya ain saad. This surah begins with five letters. The surahs begin with one letter, noon, kaf, saad, then two, hamim, hamim, then three, alif lam mim, alif lam ra. We have gone through them. Then two with four. Alif Lam Meem Ra, Alif Lam Meem Saad. And two surahs of the Quran begin with five letters. One is this, Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Saad. The other is Surah Al-Shura. Ha, Meem, Ain, Seen, Kaf. Zikro Rahmati Rabbik Abdahu Zakariya. This is the narration of your Lord's mercy, which was bestowed upon his bondsman, his servant Zakariya. Is nada rabbahu nidaan khafiya. Just recall, when he called upon his Lord secretly, in a very low voice, Father Rabbi inni wahan al azmu minni. He said, O oh my Lord, my bones have become weak. Was ta'ala rasu shayban. And my head is now covered with gray and white hair. وَلَمْ أَكُمْ بِدُعَائِكَ رَبِّ شَقِيَّةً And throughout my life, I have never been unblessed after calling upon you, after praying you. You always granted my prayers. So I am taking the courage to ask you for something, something big. Because you have been granting my prayers all the life. So that has given me the courage. What is that request? And I fear that after me, my relatives will not take the right attitude. And my wife has been barren all the life. So please grant me from your special bounty a heir, someone who can continue my mission. Yare Suni. 
who should inherit me. My Yarasum in Ali Yaqub. And all the spiritual heritage of the house of Yaqub he should inherit. Wajalhu Rabbi Radhiya. And O Lord, make him acceptable to thee and pleasing to you and pleased with you. Razi goes both ways. You are pleased with somebody, this is also Razi. Somebody is pleased with you, this is also Razi. File. Ya Zakariya, Nadi, this prayer was answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O Zakariya, inna nubashiruka bi ghulamin. We give you the glad tidings of a son. Ismuhu Yahya. His name would be Yahya. Lam najal lahu min qablu samiyya. We have not made for him a four time a namesake. This name has never been allotted to any human being before him. He will be the first person to be given the name of Yahya. Qadr Rabbi Ahna yakun ali hulamun. Although he prayed himself, but you know, he doesn't appear to believe that in this old age of mine, I was, he was very old, grown very old. And now, all the life, his wife, Hannah, had been barren. No issue. So how can now she have a, a son? He said, oh my Lord, how can I have a son? He said, oh my Lord, how can I have a son? While my wife has been barren all the life. وَقَدْ بَلَغْتُ مِنَ الْكِبْرِ عِتِيَا and I myself have reached the extreme old age. Kahala kazalik. The reply came, it will happen in this very way. Despite of your old age and barrenness of your wife, you will be given a son. Ta'ala rabbuka hu alayya hayyanun. Your Lord said, this is very easy for me. I am not bound by these laws of nature. I have, I have framed these laws of nature. They need my permission. I am not bound by these laws. It's very easy for me. Just recall, I created you while you were nothing. What were you? A drop of sperm. And I created you out of it. So can, can't I, you know, give you a son? Hazrat Zakriya said, Okay, oh Lord, now, Fix for me some sign that I should know that actually this will happen. He said, Allah said, replied, the sign for you is that you will not be able to talk to the people for three nights. You will become dumb. Saviya, although you will not be sick or old, you will be sound and healthy. But this faculty of speaking will be taken over, taken away from you. This is the sign. فَخَرَجَ عَلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ مِنِ الْمِحْرَافِ He came out from his sanctuary where he was, he used to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to his nation. فَأَوْحَا إِلَيْهِمْ Now what he? Because he can't speak. So he conveyed to them by gestures. أَنْسَبِّحُوا بُكْرَةً وَعْشِيَا Glorify your Lord morning and evenings. Now, so to say, scene one of the drama is finished. Now the number two. Now Yahya has been born. And now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing Yahya. Ya Yahya khudil kitab abi quwa. O Yahya, son of Zakaria, hold fast to our book. Bi quwa, with power and strength. Wa atayinahu al-hukma sabiya. And we granted him wisdom while he was still a child. These are exceptions. Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. And Yahya. Both are exceptions. They were given the wisdom from the very beginning of the life. And he had all the tenderness in his heart which we gave him. And purity. And he was God-fearing. And he was very dutiful to his parents. وَلَمْ يَكُنْ جَبَّارًا عَصِيَّةً And he was not arrogant or rebellious against the parents. وَسَلَامٌ عَلَيْهِ يَوْمَ وَلَيْدَةً And peace be upon him on the day on which he was born. وَيَوْمَ يَمُوتُ And on the day when he will die. 
Now this first section gives us the story of Yahya, Zakaria, wife of Zakaria, or mother of Yahya, Hanna. The birth of Yahya was not according to the usual rules. Father having reached the extreme old age, mother having been all the life barren. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them a son. Now this is actually a preface to the description of the birth of Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam. Maskur fil kitab Maryam, mentioned in this book, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi sallam, Maryam, salamun alayha, is in tabazat min ahliha makanan sharqiyya, when she withdrew from her people to an eastern place, fattakhadat min dunahim hijabam, and he put a screen from the others to be isolated. Fasalna ilayha ruhana, we sent to her our angel, our ruh, I told you, angel is also ruh, our arwa also ruh, and wahi also ruh. These three things which belong to the world of Amr, Alamul Amr, they are all ruh, ruhana. We sent our angel, that is Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam, a ruhul qudus, a ruhul ameen. Fatabassala laha basharan saviyya. He appeared before Mary, Maryam salamun alayha, as a full and sound man. قَالَتْ إِنِّي عَوْزُ بِالرَّحْمَانِ مِنْكَ إِنْ كُنْتَ تَقِيَا Maryam said, I take refuge in Rahman, the compassionate, in Allah, from you, if you are a righteous person. قَالَ إِنَّ مَا أَنَا رَسُولُ رَبِّكَ He said, don't fear, I am no man, I am an angel. I have been sent by your Lord, a messenger from your Lord. لَأَحَبَ لَكِ غُلَامًا ذَكِيَّا so that I may bestow on you a righteous son. قَالَتَ النَّا يَكُنُ لِي غُلَامٌ She also wondered, she said, how can I bear a son? وَلَمْ يَمْسَسْنِ بَشَرْ No male has ever touched me. وَلَمْ أَكُوْ بَغِيَّا And I have not been a wicked woman, unchaste woman. قَالَ كَزَالِكْ The same answer. It will happen in this very way. قَالَ رَبُّوكَ هُوَ عَلَيَّ حَيِّنُ Your Lord says, it's easy for me. وَلَنَجَعَلَهُ آيَةً لِلنَّاسِ And this is actually our decision, because we want to make him Jesus, your son, a sign for the mankind. وَرَحْمَةً مِنَّا And a mercy from us. وَكَانَ عَمْرًا مَقْضِيَا And this matter has already been decreed and decided. There can be now no two opinions. This is to happen. فَحَمَلَتْهُ so she conceived him. فَانْتَبَذَتْ بِهِ مَكَانًا قَصُوِيَا And she withdrew with him to a very remote place. فَعَجَاهَ الْمَخَادُ إِلَىٰ جِذِنْ دَخْلَىٰ Now when the birth pains and birth pangs came, she came to the trunk of a palm tree. قَالَتْ Now in this condition, just imagine. قَالَتْ يَا لَيْتَنِي مِتْتُ قَبْلَ هَذَا وَكُنْتُ نَسْيَمْ مَنْسِيَىٰ and she said, would that I had died before this and become a thing forgotten in oblivion. Now she was thinking, if I am going to give birth to a son, what will people say? What would be my explanation? Where from this son has come? So she is so much grieved. Ya laytani mittu qabla haza wa kuntu nasiyam mansiya. Would that I had that died before this time, and become a thing forgotten and oblivion. Fanada min tahtiha. Then called the one who was beneath her. Allah tahzani, don't be grieved. Qad jala rabbu ke tahta kisariya. Your Lord has produced a water stream underneath you. Now who was the caller? Mostly people think, he was the same angel Jibreel. But there I was very glad to find in one translation, because I thought that I am the only one that holds that idea, but I have another you know, support for that idea of mine, and that it was the baby Jesus himself. He talked to Maryam, Salamun Don't worry. 
and this miracle when Maryam saw this miracle, my son is speaking. Then she had the, she could take the heart that yes, now I can go and face my people. He will testify when he is speaking to me while he is an infant. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help me through this baby. Fanadaha. It was Hazrat Masih himself who called to her mother, La Tahzani. Don't be grieved. Qadjala Rabbu ki tahta ki sariya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made a stream flow underneath you. Wa huzzi ilay ki me jizgin nakhlate. And you just shake towards you the trunk of the palm tree. To saqit alay ki rota ban janiya. The palm tree dates will drop on you fresh and ripe. Wa kuli wa shurabi. Then you eat and drink. Wa karri ayna. And keep your eyes cool. By what? By seeing the sun. It happens. You know, mother, after worst pains, and all that which comes to her during the, the birth of the child, but after, after the birth is, has taken place, and child is given to her, all pain gone. Now she's smiling, and she's kissing the child. So this is actually, you can cool your eyes by seeing me. And now if you happen to see somebody, some man, Fakuli, say to him, Inni Nazar to Lil Rahman is Soma. I have woved a fast for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Falan Ukalimal Yama in Siya, so I'm not going to talk to anybody. This was also a form of fasting in the Bani Israel, in the Jews in which not only eating and drinking was prohibited, even speaking was also prohibited. Now she came to, his, to her people, her nation, carrying him. People saw him, saw her bringing a child in her lap. Oh, Maryam, you have certainly brought a thing most highness and most hate-worthy. Ya Ukhta Harun. O sister of Harun, Ma kana abu kimra soin. Neither your father was a wicked person. Wa ma kana ummu ke bahiya. Nor your mother was an unchaste and wicked woman. Fa sharat ilay. She pointed towards the baby, Isa alayhi salam. Qalu kaifa nukal le muman kaala fil mahdi sabiya. He said, how can we talk to this? Who is an infant? Who is in the cradle? An infant. How can he explain who he is and how he has come into being, into existence? How can we talk to him? Now Hazrat Masi said, I am the servant of Allah. Atani al Kitab. He has given me a book, Gospel. Vajalani Nabiya. And he has made me a prophet. And he has made me blessed wherever I am. And he has enjoined upon me the prayers and the zakah so long as I live. And I am dutiful to my mother. Respectful, dutiful to my mother. وَلَمْ يَجْعَلْنِي جَبَّارًا شَقِيًّا And he has not made me arrogant and unblessed. وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيَّ يَوْمَ وُلِدْتُ Peace be upon me the day I was born. وَيَوْمَ أَمُوتُ And peace be upon me the day I will die. وَيَوْمَ أُبْعَسُ حَيَّا And peace be upon me when I will be resurrected again. ذَلِكَ عِيسَ بْنُ مَرْيَمْ This was Jesus, son of Mary. These ayat were revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the fifth years after the beginning of Wahi. And you have in history that when some of the Muslims, they migrated to Abyssinia, and then a deputation of Quraysh was sent to Najashi, Nagus, that you send these people, they have run away, they are our slaves who have run away, send them back. And then you know, they were called there in the court of Nagus, Najashi. And there, in the beginning he was ready, okay, your people, you can take them. 
But then Hazrat Jafar Tayyar رضي الله عنه, elder brother of Hazrat Ali رضي الله عنه, then he recited these ayat in the court of Najashi. And then Najashi said, what has been said about Isa here, Isa is not more than it, even a, 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 an inch, or you may call anything, or rather or less in size. It is the exact description of Isa. So he confirmed. And then I said, okay, these people, if they believe in these things, I am not going to send them back to you to, so that you can persecute them. Zalika Isa ibn Maryam. He was Isa, son of Maryam. Qal al-haqqi al-lazi fiha yamtaroon. And this is the word of truth about which they are doubting. مَا كَانَ لِلَّهِ يَتَّخِذَ مِنْ وَلَدِ سُبْحَانَا It doesn't behove to Allah. It's not behoving to Allah. That He should take a son to Him. سُبْحَانَا Glory be to Him. إِذَا قَضَى أَمْرًا فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَقُولُ When He decides about some matter, only He has to say, utter the word كُنْ and it becomes. وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ رَبِّي وَرَبَّكُمْ Again, the saying of Jesus, Allah is my Lord and your Lord. Fabudu hada fabudu. Worship Him and Him alone. Hada sirat mustaqim. This is the right and straight path. Fakhtalaf al ahzabu min bainahim. But different sects, they differed about Him. Even among the Christians. You said He is a sorcerer. He con they condemned Him to be crucified. And you know, the Christians said He is Son of God. And there were so many sects about, about Jesus, God incarnate. Some of them thought He is God Himself, not, not Trinity. He is Himself God, God incarnate. God has come down on this earth in His form. So different forms of ideas were adopted by different people. فَاخْتَلَفَ الْعَزَابُ مِنْ بَيْنِهِمْ فَوَيْلُ لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ مَشْهَدَ يَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ So, though there be woe on them, who have rejected and committed kufr on that day when they will be gathering before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Asma bihim wa apsir, on that day, yawma yatuna na, when they will come to us, how good they will be listening and how good they will be seeing. La kini zalimun al yawma fi zalalim mubin. But these evildoers today, they are in manifest error. وَأَنزِرْهُمْ يَوْمَ الْحَسْرَةِ And, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, you warn them against that day of despair and anguish. إِذَا قُضِيَ الْأَمْرُ When all the matters will be decided. وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ وَهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ And they are paying no attention and they are not believing in what you are telling them. إِنَّا نَحْنُ نَرِسُ الْأَرْضَ وَمَنْ عَلَيْهَا We are going to inherit the whole of the world and whatever is over it. Now you own this and you own this and he owns this and this building belongs to him and so on and so forth. But the whole inheritance will remain for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will all be gone. Whatever is on it, we shall be inheriting everything. And two, and to us they will be returned. <coughs> now we come to Raskur fil kitab Ibrahim. Mentioned in this book, Ibrahim also, alayhi salatu wassalam. Innahu ka'ala siddiq al nabiyya He was a truthful person to the utmost, and a messenger, and a prophet. Is ka'ala le abihe, recall when he said to his father, Ya abate, oh dear father, le matabudu ma la yasma'u, wa la yufsiru, wa la yugni an kashaya. Why do you worship these idols? which neither can see nor listen, and they can't benefit you in any way. Ya Abate, oh my dear father, inni qadjani min al-ilm. Verily, to me a knowledge has come, that is of wahi, which is not given to all the people. Allah has been sending wahi to only the prophets. So a knowledge has come to me, inni qadjani min al-ilm, ma'alam yatik, which didn't come to you. You are father, I am son. You are older, I am younger. But still, this revelation has come to me. It didn't come to you. Fattabayni. So you will have to follow me. Ahde kasaratan sabiyya. I will guide you to the right path. 
Yabate. Now see how he is addressing. In most respectable way, most respectable, sincerity. Yabate. Oh my dear father, La Tabudi Shaitan. Don't worship Satan. In the Shaitan Akan Lib Rahmani Asiya. Verily, Satan has been for the compassionate, he has been in rebellion against him. Ya abate inni akhaf wa yamasak adabu min rahman Oh my dear father, I fear that some chastisement from Rahman, the compassionate Allah, will come to you. Fatakoon ali shaitani waliya And then you will become a friend of Satan. Now what was the reply of Ibrahim, Ibrahim's father? Kala ragibu nantan alihati ya Ibrahim. He said, O oh Ibrahim, are you rejecting my gods? La illam tantahe. If you don't desist from it, larju mannaka, I will stone you to death. Wahjurni maliya. And get away from my sight. For a long period, get away. Kala salamun alayk. Ibrahim said, Peace be upon you. Sastasurullah karabbi. Soon I will ask my Lord forgiveness for you. Innahu kana bi hafiyah. He is very gracious to me, very kind to me. He will accept my prayer for you. Wa atadilukum wa ma tadruna min dunillah. And I am leaving you and those whom you are calling upon, whom you are worshipping. Accept Allah. Wa adu rabbi. I will call my Lord. Asa Allah akuna be duai rabbi shakiya and I hope that by calling upon my Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I will not remain unblessed. My prayers will be granted. Falammat azalahum when he left them wahabna lahu ishaqa wa yaqub falammat azalahum wa ma yaabuduna min nunillah when he left them and the gods whom they were worshipping wahabna lahu ishaqa wa yaqub we bestowed on him Ishaq as son and Yaqub as grandson, son of Ishaq. وَكُلَّنْ جَعَلْنَا نَبِيَّا And each one of them we made Nabi. Ishaq was also a prophet and Yaqub was also a prophet, alayhi salatu wa salam. وَمَحَبْنَا لَهُمْ مِنْ رَحْبَتِنَا And we bestowed on them, all of them, from our mercy. وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ لِسَانَ سِتْ بِنْ عَلِيَّا and we assign to them a true and high renown. Vazkur fil kitab Musa. And mentioned in this book, Moses also, Musa also. In Nahukana Mukhlasan. Verily, he was a chosen person. We had chosen him. Vakana Rasul and Nabiya. He was a messenger and a prophet. Vanadainahu min jani bi turil aman. And we had called to him from the right side of the Mount Tur. وَقَرَّبْنَاهُ نَجِيَّا And we had called him nearer and nearer so as to have a conversation with him. وَوَحَبْنَا لَهُ مِنْ رَحْمَتِنَا أَخَاهُ هَارُونَ نَبِيَّا And we bestowed on him out of our mercy. His brother Harun, we give him also prophethood and made him also prophet because he had requested it. We shall read in the next surah, Surah Taha. وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ إِسْمَعِيلِ also make mention in this book of Ismail, alayhi salatu was salam, in Nahu Kaada Sadiqul Waad. He was true to his promises. Makana Rasul al Nabiya. He was also a messenger and a prophet. Wakana Yamura Alaubi Salati was Zakati. Wakana in the Rubbihi Marbiya. And he used to command his family for salah and zakah. And he was According near his Lord, he was approved one. Vaskul fil kitab Idris. Also mentioned in this book, Idris. The name of Idris in Bible is Inak. Akhruq, Anuq, Anuq. Vaskul fil kitab Idris. Innahu kana siddiq al nabiya He was also a truthful person to the utmost. And a prophet. Warafainahu makana naliya. And we had raised him to a very high position. أُولَائِكَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ These are the people whom we sent our blessings من النبيين from among the prophets. They are all prophets. من ذُلِيَةِ آدَمْ From the progeny of Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. وَمِمَّنْ هَمَ اللَّهُ مَعَلُوهُ 
and the progeny of those whom we carried on the boat, on the ark with the Nuh and Esarat was salam, from in Zuriyat Ibrahim of Israel, and from among the progeny of Ibrahim and Israel, Israel means Yaqub, from Imman Hadayna, and from those whom we had guided, Wajtabayna, or whom we had selected, Iza tutla alayhim ayatul Rahman, kharru sujjatam wa bukiya, this was their practice, that when the ayat of the compassionate Allah was recited to them, they used to fell down on the ground and prostrating, weeping. This is ayah of prostration. So make a sajda, please. فَخَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ أَضَعُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَاتَّبَعُوا الشَّهْوَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّا then there succeeded after them a generation which was unworthy, who wasted salah and followed the lusts of this world, the desires of the id and libido. So they shall soon encounter the chastisement. Illa mantaba, except those who repent, vaamana. And now again, renew their faith, Iman, وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا And do good deeds, فَأُولَٰئِكَ يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةِ They will enter paradise, وَلَا يُزْلَبُونَ الشَّيَعَ And they will not be wronged. Every good deed of theirs will be rewarded in full. جَنَّاتِ عَبْدَنِ اللَّتِي وَعَدَ الرَّحْمَانُ وَعِبَادَهُ بِالْغَيْبِ And what will be their reward? The gardens of perpetual bliss, which the compassionate Allah, Rahman, he has promised for them. And this promise was given for his bondsmen in the unseen. Innahu kana waduhu matiya. Verily, his promise is ever to be fulfilled. He is not going to fall back on his promise. La yasma'una fiha langwan illa salama. Now after entering into paradise, they will not have to, to even listen to any vain talk except salam and salam and salam. All the malaika will be coming to them and saying salam. Salaman salama. This with salam is repeated in Surah Al-Waqiyah. وَلَهُمْ رِزْقُهُمْ فِيهَا بُكْرَةً وَعْشِيَا And they will have the provision and food for them. Evenings and mornings. تِلْكَ الْجَنَّةُ الَّتِي نُورِسُ مِنْ عِبَادِنَا مَنْ كَانَ تَقِيَا This is the garden which we shall cause thereof our servants to inherit who are God-fearing. They will inherit, and we shall make them inherit this garden. And we cannot come down and descend, but with the command of your Lord. This is the saying of Jibreel والسلام, to Muhammad وسلم, Because the Prophet وسلم, wanted that this revelation should come to me with a higher speed. There was pause, and this pause, you know, that became at times unbearable for him. He wanted more and more of it should come. So he complained to Jibreel alayhi salam, you don't come for a number of days and we have to wait for you. You should come more frequently. This is the reply. We can't descend except by the command of your Lord. To him belongs whatever is in front of us and whatever is behind us. And whatever is between the two. Now just imagine. To him belongs what is in front of me and to him belongs which is behind me. And what is in between the two? Who is in between the two? I am in between the two. So what he says, Jibreel is saying that we are absolutely, we have to Submit to the command of your Lord. We have no will, no free will to do whatever we like. And your, or your Lord does never forget. Don't think that this pause, you know, is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgotten to send the wahid. No, no. It is based on his wisdom and hikmah. Rabbu samawati wa lawd. He is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. Wama bainahuma. And all of these things which are between them. Fa'abudhu. So worship him. Wastabib li ibadatihi. 
and show perseverance in obedience to him. Hal ta'lamu lahu samiyya. Do you know any person like him, comparable to him, or equal to him? Wa yakoonu l-insanu aiza ma mitu la suafa ukhra jo hayya. And man says in exclamation, Oh, when I am died, I am dead, will I again be taken out from my grave as a living creature? Awa la yaskuru l-insanu anna khalaknahu min qabul. Does this man not recall that we have created him before? Wa lam yaku shaya. He was nothing. We created him out of a drop of sperm. That's all. If we could create him, can't we create him again? For Rabbika. So by your Lord, I swear by your Lord, لَنَحْشُرَنَّهُمْ وَشَيَاتِينَ We shall definitely gather all these unbelievers and all these satans. سُمَّ لَنُحْدِرَنَّهُمْ حَوْلَ جَهَنَّمَ جَسِيَّةً And then we shall bring them around the hell and they will be kneeling on the ground. ثُمَّ لَنَنْزِعَنَّ مِنْ كُلِّ شِيَةٍ أَيُّهُمْ أَشَدُّ وَلَا الرَّحْمَانِ عَتِيَّةً Then we shall certainly draw out from every sect and every community who was most rebellious against the compassionate Allah. ثُمَّ لَنَنْزِعَنَّ مِنْ كُلِّ شِيَةٍ أَيُّهُمْ أَشَدُّ وَلَا الرَّحْمَانِ عَتِيَّةً ثُمَّ لَنَحْنُ عَالَمُ بِالَّذِينَ هُمْ أَوْلَى بِهَا صُلِيَّةً First of all, وَإِن مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَارِدُ هَادَ O mankind, there is none from amongst you who is not to come there. Even the believers will once be taken to Jahannam to show them this is the thing from which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has saved you. Every human being will be made to pass, you know that as-sirat in the hashr, that is over hell. And Muslims have to pass, we shall read it in Surah Al-Hadid. And then again, in, in Surah Al-Tahreem. So that stage is to come in the, on the Day of Judgment. So everybody will see the Jahannam. وِمْمِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَعَرِدُّ هَاكَانَ عَلَىٰ رَبِّكَ حَتْمًا مَقْضِيًا And this is, in the, in the, this is a decreed and decided thing with your Lord. سُمَّنُ نَجِّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Then we shall save those who had the faith and iman. وَنَذَرُ الظَّالِمِينَ فِيهَا جِسِيَا As for the evildoers, we shall leave them there. They will be their evildoers kneeling down. وَإِذَا تُطْلَى عَلَيْمْ آيَاتُ بَيِّنَاتِمْ And when our clear ayat, revelations are read to them, recited to them, قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا Those who disbelieve, they say, لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا To the believers, اَيُّ الْفَرِقَيْنِ خَيْرٌ مَقَامًا وَأَحْسَنُ نَدِيًّا Which of the two parties is better in station and goodlier in assembly? The kuffar of Quraysh used to say to Muslims, look to Abu Jahl. His courtyard is so wide. So many people are always there. Who is there with Muhammad? None. So who has the respect in this world? Abu Jahl has the respect. Abu Lahab has the respect, Muhammad has no respect. And we have riches, we have wealth, we have nothing. So who amongst us is more beloved to Allah? They were measuring the love of Allah for creatures by the wealth that Allah has given them. So are you a funny kind of khairu maqamum wa ahsanu nadiyya? Wa ka mahalakna qablahum min qarnin. Allah says, how many generations, how many a generation we had destroyed before them. Hum ahsanu asasam wariya. Their possessions and their outward pomp and show was much more than the possessions and pomp and show of this Quraysh. Qul man kana fi dalalati fal yamdud lahur rahmanu madda. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is... Man kana fi zalalati fan yamdud. Who is in error? Who has gone to the wrong path? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will prolong his term and give him respite. Hatta iza rao ma yu aduna. Till that time that when they see with their eyes what is being promised to them. Imma saata wa imma al-azaab. 
either the chastisement coming to them or the hour. The doomsday comes to them. فَسَيَعْلَمُونَ مَنْ هُوَ شَرْبٌ مَكَانًا وَعَظَفُ جُنْدًا Then they will know who is worse in his position and who is weak regarding his armies. Either Muhammad was weak or Abu Jahl was weak. This will be clear on the day of judgment and when the chastisement comes to them. وَيَزِيدُ الَّذِينَ اَحْتَدَوْا هُدًا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases in guidance those who take to guidance. وَالْبَاقِيَاتُ الصَّالِحَاتُ الْخَيْرُ إِنْدَ رَبِّكَ سَوَابًا وَخَيْرٌ مَرَدَّا And the good deeds, righteous good deeds, they are ever abiding. And they are better to return to when you will be returning to the hereafter, these deeds will be there waiting for you. أَفَرَائِتَ الَّذِي كَفَرَ بِآيَاتِنَا So have you seen that person who has disbelieved our revelation? وَقَالَ لَهُ تَيَنَّ مَعَلَمْ وَبَالَتَا And he says, I will definitely be given wealth and sons. We just read that in Surah Al-Kahf also. That person who had two gardens, he said, I never, I don't think this, this garden can be destroyed. وَلَيْ رُدِبْتُ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي لَأَجِدَنَّ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا مُنْقَلَبَا And if I am returned to my Lord, I will get much better than what I have here. This is the common thing of these, you know, disbelievers who are wealthy, well-to-do, that when he has blessed us here, well, he will bless us there also. And because you are deprived here, so, so in the same way you will be deprived in the hereafter also. أَفَرَيَتَ الَّذِي كَفَرَ بِآيَاتِنَا وَقَالَ لَهُ تَيَنَّ مَعَلَمْ وَوَلَدَا أَتَّلَعَ الْغَيْبِ Has he looked into the unseen future, what will happen? أَمِ اتَّخَدَ عِنْدَ الرَّحْمَانِ عَهْدَا Or he has had a pledge from Rahman, compassionate, that he will definitely give him much more wealth in the hereafter. Kalla. Not at all. سَنَكْتُبُ مَا يَقُولُ We shall write down and record what he is saying. وَنَمُدُّ لَهُ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ مَدَّا And we shall then lengthen and increase for him the chastisement. وَيَرَسُهُ مَا يَقُولُ and we shall inherit from him what he says. Whatever he has, he will die. Inheritance will come to us. Vayatina farda. And when he comes to us, he will be all alone. No sons, no daughters, no servants, no wealth, no worldly belongings. He will come to us alone. But takhadum in dunillahi alihatan. And they have adopted, besides Allah, gods. لَيَكُونُوا لَهُمْ عِزَّا So that they can become a basis of strength for them, for their defense. They will be able to defend them against the questioning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kalla. Not at all. سَيَكْفُرُونَ بِعِبَادَتِهِمْ Though they will be, they will refute that they never worshipped us. وَيَكُونُونَ عَلَيْهِمْ عِزَّا They will become enemies to them. Well, they say that they were worshipping us. The angels will say, no, no, no. They will become, they will stand to prosecute them. أَلَمْ تَرَا أَنَّا أَرْسَلْنَا الشَّيَاتِينَ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ تُوَسْدُهُمْ أَسَّا Have you not seen that we sent the satans against the disbelievers to incite them vehemently into sin? The satans come and incite us. أَلَّذِي يُوَسْوِسُ فِي صُدُورِ النَّاسِ مِنَ الْجِنَّةِ وَالنَّاسِ فَلَا تَعْجَلْ عَلَيْهِمْ So, O Prophet, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, don't be in haste against them. Don't pray to Allah that their matter should be decided immediately. Let Allah decide Himself. Whatever time Allah is giving, whatever term He is fixing for them, let you do Him. فَلَا تَعْجَلْ عَلَيْهِمْ إِنَّمَا نَعُدُّ لَهُمْ عَدَّى We are numbering their days. يَوْمَ يَحْشُرُ الشَّيَاتِينَ يَوْمَ نَحْشُرُ الشَّيَاتِ مُتَّقِينَ إِلَى الرَّحْمَانِ وَفْدَى Recall the day when we shall gather the God-fearing people to the compassionate just as a delegation is received. They will come and they will be received there as a delegation. وَنَسُوكُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ إِلَى جَهَنَّمَ وِرْدَى And we shall drive the guilty to the hell as a herd. لَا يَمْلِكُونَ الشَّفَاتَ إِلَّا مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِنْدَ الرَّحْمَانِ عَحْدَى they shall have no power of intercession save him who has made a covenant with the compassionate Allah, Rahman. A few ayat are left, but with this, these we shall read, inshallah, 
in the next hour. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم الله أكبر الله أكبر The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.